All dragonflies, when they perch, hold their wings outstretched. But they have close relations, damselflies, and they perch with their wings closed above their backs. Mosquitoes stand little chance when damsels go hunting. But flight for damsels, as for dragonflies and mayflies, is primarily the means to find a mate and to breed. And to do that, they, like the others, need water. Flight is itself an important element in their courtship. These blue males must first establish a territory for themselves above open water. And that involves aerial jousts that can last for hours. Mature females, whose wings in this species are not blue but golden brown, are attracted to those males who control good places for egg laying. But the males must nonetheless display the correct wing signals. This one, patrolling his territory, is using a special flight to flaunt his handsome wings, inviting females to join him. A female signals her willingness to consider doing so with a flick of her wings. So now he treats her to his full display. The female's tail-up posture is apparently a signal that declares that she's not yet sufficiently impressed. Now it seems he's got it right. Her tail is pointing downwards. He grabs the back of her neck with the claspers at the end of his abdomen. She brings her abdomen forward to reach a chamber under his thorax where he stores his sperm. His first action, though, is to scour out her genital tract to remove any sperm that might be there from a previous mating. Only when he's done that will he inject his own sperm. And now he must show her the best places in his territory for laying eggs. He flies up and down with his tail curled and lands on a suitable piece of vegetation. The female settles down to lay, cutting slits in the plant stems with her ovipositor and inserting an egg into each one. She may lay as many as 30. And all the time, the male keeps guard, lest rival males should try to mate with her. In other damsel species, the males make sure that no other male can reach their partners by keeping hold of them throughout the whole process. The young that hatch from the eggs of these insects, the larvae, look very unlike their parents. This is a dragonfly larva, and it's in this form that dragonflies spend most of their lives. The larvae of both dragonfly and damselfly are savage predators. They'll even feed on their own kind if they get the chance. 